we're really excited to be here at MRS uh, presenting some research that my students from the Haverford School um, worked on last year. They entered the Harvard University Soft Robotics Design Competition where they were tasked with advancing the field of soft robotics. And uh, their entry won the high school division of the competition. Uh, they filed a patent on their work and they're presenting here at the conference this week. We came from that idea was we were basically given um, this toolkit, right, and they gave us, you know, create some silicone actuators, but we wanted to create something that's, you know, kind of biocompatible, biodegradable, and we thought nothing better than gummy bear robots. We were lucky enough to have a 3D printer at our school, so we took the CAD files, we printed out, and we modified what they gave us. Uh, and then from there, we took our gummy bears, um, we melted them down on a, um, on a hot plate, poured them into the molds, let them, let them dry, then we took them out and sealed them together with a bottom and then created a pneumatic device that is actuated through air. Once you put the air inside, they perform a function and then come back to the original shape they were. This device being, uh, having these characteristics, uh, new char completely new characteristics, is a uh, is like completely new in the area that is good for uh, the development of the soft robotics. We can potentially develop them to have different uses. I think our next step is kind of twofold. Um, one way is the educational side of things. Uh, material science is something that hasn't been really implemented in elementary and middle school curriculum. So we feel like something as easily comprehended as gummy bears, you know, something you can walk to a CVS or your local drugstore and grab gummy bears, um, is something that's really a, uh, we could use to kind of, um, you know, set the precedent for material science at an early age. Um, and then at the same time, creating uh, edible actuators is the next step or a stepping stone for, um, you know, something that's applicable inside of the body. You know, it's biodegradable, biocompatible, bio um, and it's that first step that we can use to, you know, hopefully create something that's efficiently used inside of the body um, to perform a function.